This is College Football Breakdown with Kelly in Vegas, where we bring in Kelly in Vegas, get her opinion on three college football betting sides that she likes this weekend. Also, some uh, information and news out of Las Vegas. So let's welcome her in. Kelly, how are you doing today? Doing pretty good. It's hard to complain. Vegas is beautiful outside, and uh, I'm excited for this college football conference championship weekend. Looks like quite a few good games on the slate. Absolutely. Let's start it off in the Pac-12. Friday night, we got Stanford, USC, 303-304. Looks like USC opened minus three, bought up to minus four now, 58 and a half the total. This one on ESPN, 8 p.m. Eastern time kickoff. How are you looking to bet it, Kelly? You know, I was on Stanford last week. They got it done for me over the Irish. Pretty happy with their performance. They're now 8-4 and four against the number in their last 12 games when playing Southern California, and they've won seven of the last 10. They also have the number two back in the country with Bryce Love. I know they're saying he has a bruised ankle, but he's going to be playing in this one. Speaking of playing, this is actually a play against USC. I was on them a couple of weeks ago against UCLA, and it was just a bad pick. Sam Darnold is just not playing well, and we've seen this USC team on a cover slide for six weeks now. I don't think it gets much better on Friday, and I actually like Stanford to win this one outright. All right, liking the dog here. And Kelly, do you factor in kind of the proximity uh, as close as it is to the Stanford campus into your handicap? You know, you can consider it to be closer to a home game, but I think just talking with lots of people from California, you'll see so many fans throughout the state that are USC fans, UCLA fans, Stanford fans, and going to the K-State game in Palo Alto a couple of years ago, those fans are everywhere. So I don't think it really matters that much. We'll still call it a neutral site game. And even still, I, I almost made Stanford the favorite in this one. On to the Saturday slate. We got Memphis UCF, a rematch here, Kelly. It looks like the Knights lay in seven. 82 the total now. The total actually opened, I think, 85. So it's been bought down a little bit. 12 noon Saturday kickoff on ABC. How you looking to bet this American Athletic Conference Championship? You know what, Drew, you're right. There is a lot of revenge on the minds of the Memphis Tigers here. They received an absolute beat down in September. And what is the public going to look up? They're going to say, oh, these two teams already played each other. Oh, wow. And, they're, and we only have to lay a touchdown. I think the run for the UCF Knights is over. I think they just, they probably should have lost that game to Southern Florida. Uh, but, you know, South Florida, sorry. Um, but this Knights team has just not covered games for weeks now. I, I'm just not sold on them. I was really impressed. I took the Memphis Tigers last week to cover the big number in one of the contests that I'm in, and it was so easy. Not to mention, head coach Scott Frost might be out the door soon for UCF, and that's something that I do take into consideration when handicapping games. I think Memphis keeps it close and possibly gets the W. And Kelly, you bring up the rematch factor. What about the, the I, I, and to add to that, this is actually the third time that these two teams are preparing for each other. Because if you remember, the hurricane kind of knocked them off that first time. They, they, they were practicing all week. Then the rematch, and now this rematch of that game. Do you think that that actually favors Memphis because they were the team that lost? You know, I don't necessarily know if it favors either team here. Um, it does say that certain teams are more prepared than others. I, I wish I would have played South Florida last week over UCF. I know that uh, you probably know a little bit more about those two teams than I do, but it was just one of those games where if you handicapped it well, you were on the right side. And like I said, I didn't think UCF was going to be able to get that late touchdown, um, but they did. And I, I don't know that all, that I'm sorry that Memphis defense just seems to be a little bit better than people are giving them credit for. So I think this is going to be a really good one. Yeah, the war on I-4, it was yeah. a great game, but arguably the best game on Saturday. Um, it, and the over as well would have been a, an easy winner in that one. Hey, moving on to the 4 o'clock Eastern slate on CBS. Arguably the biggest game of the weekend. We got Georgia-Auburn, a rematch here in the SEC championship game. 3-2-1, 3-2-2 on the rotation numbers. 48 the total. Looks like Auburn's laying two and a half at five dimes. Only minus two at the Greek. So one you want to shop around for on SBR odds for the best number. How you looking to bet the rematch of the oldest rivalry in the South, Kelly? You know, I'm looking at this and I'm going, wow, the Auburn Tigers blew out the Bulldogs just a few weeks ago. Now they're just a two-point favorite on a neutral field after beating Alabama. Let's be honest, both Tigers' losses have come on the road this year, so I'm going to roll the dice here with 
the dog in the SEC championship game. I think Georgia knows that there's a little bit of revenge. They have to redeem themselves. But guess what? If they can beat Auburn, they are in the top four college football playoff, and that's all that matters to them. So three dogs this week, huh, Kelly? And, and bucking the trend of, of the, the rematch and the team that won winning again. Yeah, you know, I, I always like to make a case for the dogs, but this week there's just a few dogs that really stick out to me and, and in Georgia and in Stanford. So those will be my two big plays. And like I said, I also like them. All right, Kelly, good stuff. And, and what are your thoughts on the college football playoff? Who do you think makes it? Oh, it's tough. I do think TCU gives Oklahoma a little bit of run for their money, but I do think Oklahoma gets a W. Obviously, Ohio State is a six-point favorite over Wisconsin, even though they're the undefeated team. I think it's going to be another good game, but I think Wisconsin might just not get it done. Um, I don't see Ohio State getting in. I don't see Alabama getting in. Um, Clemson looks like they're just going to absolutely roll Miami. So... You know, it's going to be a toss-up whether Georgia or Auburn actually gets it in, but I think the other three are pretty much solidified. Okay, and, and what about any, okay. um, like, news out of Las Vegas you think the, the listeners need to, to know about from the sports books? You know, college, college basketball is underway, so it's super busy here in the sports books. It's great, everybody. Um, you'd be surprised, actually, how many people came here for Thanksgiving. The books were absolutely packed, um, especially with, you know, basically four sports going on right now. And if you, that's just not including golf. So lots of betting action. The NFR is going to be in town next week for two weeks. So I always like to bet that kind of stuff with my dad. It's always really fun. And then right around the corner is New Year's Eve, which is always a great time to come to Vegas. And what were you saying is coming in town in, in the next couple of weeks? The NFR, it's the National Finals Rodeo. And you can bet that. Yes, you can bet on... Uh, Actually, it's pretty fun. You can bet it in different places, but um, I like to bet it with people around me. It's, uh, they, they do different things in the crowd where you can, you know, make, you pick your cowboy and you pay a certain amount for him depending on how good he is or isn't. And sometimes you can make some legitimate cash. I think a couple of years ago, I won 900 bucks on a guy to make a short go. And uh, I, was, I was pretty surprised. I think I paid $70 for him. So it's, it's just a fun uh, kind of country atmosphere. And, and this girl from Kansas always loves it. Nice. Good stuff. Hey, we also had some people in the SBR social media committee, uh, community reach out to us and ask what the closest beach to Las Vegas is. I know you've been in Las Vegas for a while now. W which beach would be the closest one to go to? Technically, you got to go to L.A., but I would recommend either going to Huntington or Laguna. They're a little bit farther, but they're totally worth the hour drive. Um, and, you know, don't forget, it's only just a short two-hour plane ride to Cabo, so you can't ever beat that either. So two hour plane ride to Cabo, but if you, if you had to stick in a car, wh which one would be the closest? I think probably Santa Monica is the closest. It's been a while since I've been there, but your straight shot drive to LA, as long as you don't hit any traffic once you get there. But I would highly recommend Laguna or Huntington over Santa Monica though. And, and what, what is the time on that drive? Like three hours, four hours? No, it's about four and a half. I think a lot of people think you can get there a lot faster, but you'd be surprised going through those mountains. Uh, Tends to be a lot of accidents and a lot of really slow traffic at times. Dang, reminds me of the uh, driving in Costa Rica, a lot of uh, going through mountains and stuff. Gets kind of crazy. It's but... exactly driving through Costa Rica. I did that when we were in college, and it was like a four-hour bus ride to Haco. It was horrible. Yeah, no, they've, they've built an interstate now, so if you got a car, it, it is faster, but it's still like an hour and a half. But, hey, in wrap-up, we got Stanford plus four, Memphis plus seven, Georgia plus two and a half for Kelly in Vegas. Make sure to give her a follow on Twitter, at Kelly in Vegas. Kelly, thanks for joining the show, and we'll talk to you next week for the Bowl Preview Show. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to our channel. Now we've put a lot of work into producing all these free videos, so please help us out and keep all our content free for you forever by simply liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing. Now not to mention a visit to our industry leading website will warm the hearts of all our SBR employees, especially myself. Now the links are over there to the left, uh, so do check those out. Thanks for watching.